Hello to everyone who was born on the Pisces Aries cusp. Thanks for making your way to this little YouTube video and for joining me here in this particular moment in space and time. I hope you will come out of this little 10 minute video with a message that helps you along your way or makes your journey or your life path improve uh, at least somewhat. Okay, I wish you all the best of health, love, care, bliss, understanding at this time. And I hope that you're all having most excellent uh, journey on your life path. Okay. And if you are inspired and you're interested in these little, oh, sorry for the camera action guy, my cameraman must be uh, on the vlog again. If you're interested, I'm giving away these little books on divination. They're very old. I don't know that they're really worth anything other than the information inside what might be towards you. If you're excited for that, uh, please leave an inspired comment and I will uh, enter your name into the hat uh, and perhaps we get these mailed out to you, right? If your name comes out of the hat kind of thing. I don't have a lottery license or anything like that. It's just something I want to give a little incentive for anyone who is on the path of wanting to help others, to heal others through any sort of divination that they're doing or improving on their life, okay? So, but Enough shameless plugs for me. Uh, let's get back to you guys. So the left half of the screen is going to um, represent the Piscean side. The right side is going to represent the airy side when we're going to bring things together with a few more tarot cards and looking at the overarching oracle cards for the month of October to, to just kind of give a best path to follow or a little bit of direction as it were, okay? So let's take a look at the Piscean side uh, first off the bat. Okay, we've got card number 45, a sad embrace, combined with card number 36, come to, come to the edge. So this is like a willingness um, and some healing that's going on here. A return to faith for many people. If past loyalties had been questioned, things had been dissolved, and then there could have been some like healing time that was needed or feelings that needed to be exposed and then expressed, um, some sort of like anguish or um, some form of like um, social maybe embarrassment that had that occurred that is like now is being like healed over at this time and is asking you to have a return to faith believe in yourself at this time okay pisces waters run very deep and when it comes to these intangible things and getting our feelings under control and grounded and having confidence and faith in oneself this is kind of the level where the healing is occurring inward to out but it requires an act of faith i feel or uh, a movement towards the unknown and away from like just kind of uh you know band-aid solutions of like slapping some comfort on here and a little bit of escapism on over there this is like more like facing the music uh saving face embracing each every day uh, as a brand new opportunity as a brand new day without bringing too much in from the past okay so that's what's going on, on the pisces side right we're looking for some some healing and a return to faith over there now here on the aries side we've got another card of healing we've got this card of mending which usually in the healing aspects this is takes the form of like active levels of forgiveness and participation uh, with others in doing something that is mutually beneficial or learning something new with somebody else uh, so that it strengthens an understanding. You know, the oldest form of it would be like, say, a marriage counseling or couples counseling. But this just could be as much as like going um, on a road trip together with that someone to see like maybe we got to evaluate. Can we spend, you know, five, ten hours in a car together without you know bickering about the same old things or finding some sort of like joyous blissful momentous laughter down from inside of us to make us really appreciate each other's company again because the feeling i have here is that there may be always a little bit of push and pull when it comes to like two egos that are spent sharing a lot of space and time at this time right especially from the airy side it's like there are certain times where i feel like there's like this escapism like this wanting to get away that occurs again and this other time where it's like you're wanting to people to come to you almost uh and this airy side is kind of like engaged in this push and pull with this so it's like uh i want you in my life right now please come closer or i don't have time for you right now you're going to have to wait right kind of like putting oneself first it's not always a bad thing you don't feel like i'm accusing you of being selfish or anything but sometimes like the ego will sort of set those boundaries of like i need to put myself first i desire to put myself first and that's okay as long as it's managed and it's mitigated to a level where we're not undoing or unstitching 
any uh, prior work that's been done to strengthen relationships. We almost have to like physically and audibly ask our partner and the people we share our love with in our life that they, if they understand or, you know, are you okay with, with me? Do you, do you still like love and embrace this side of me kind of thing right and it's it's like kind of like standing up for your rights to be your own independent person in a relationship where those expectations are are talked about frequently they always and don't feel like it's a bad sign of a relationship if it always comes up that you're talking about expectations and what relationships mean to you yeah it may be like uh, you know kind of a uh, get redundant or mundane but the fact that if it actively keeps coming up it shows and both parties are willing to engage that is setting the avenue that is setting the direction for healthy relationships rather than like letting things being swept under the rug for months and years on the end or elephants just sitting you know on the mat over in the corner of the room and nobody even wants to look over there or deal with that right because it, it involves opening up it may be involved an expose of emotion that we're not wanting to always give or that we're you know that sort of thing so I feel that communication is going to be uh, prevalent through October. Um, not that it's tough conversations to have. It's just conversations that you may feel like, wow, I can't believe we're like having to go here again. But don't worry. If you put in that sort of work, if you get down to the nitty gritty of relationships, I feel that it can all be okay. And for some of you that are single at this time, the feeling here is, is that there is a level of self-forgiveness. If you're feeling any kind of regret or grievance for somebody that you let go of earlier in your life and maybe now you want them back or somebody like maybe let you go and you've been unwilling to accept anything new since that time, October is really showing a time that there, that there is inner work that can be done, a recognition of soul and spirit to get up, to get active, to start talking to angels, to start uh, putting your best foot forward in the world, uh, you know, livening yourself up, even if it means dressing up, you know, combing your hair, going out to a social extravaganza, something like of that effect, and and putting on putting on that sort of side of yourself to accomplish maybe a union that you could be desiring at this time. All right, now let's go back over to the uh, Pisces side and see what's happening. Card number zero, the fool. What a good energy to have here. Look at this. Come to the edge combined with the fool. It's all, it's very similar. They're dancing on very narrow pedestals, very plat, very thin platforms where it's like too much to the left or too much to the right could uh, involve a significant fall, right? But at the same time, this person feels free enough. They feel uh, like almost like who is it? Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Right? Who's that? Bobby McGee. That kind of thing. It's a very strong message there. It's like if you want to feel this liberty within yourself, you just sometimes got to say F it to everything that's around you. And it's like not that you're putting yourself at risk, but at the same time, you're saying like, I'm willing to take a chance. I'm willing to go out on a limb. I'm willing to actually go and live my life in a way that isn't always involved in like making sure all of my basic needs are met or oh my goodness, you know, we can't spend 10 cents above our estimated budget and that sort of thing. You really like life is for the living. Life is for the moment and life is living in the now. And I feel that source in the universe is going to be showing this and the Piscean side is going to sort of be like swallowing their their fear, swallowing their apprehension, swallowing any anxiety that they have towards like doing something a little bit silly, a little bit reckless, a little bit fun, right? Go out and 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 get in touch with this side of yourself, and you'll find that it's like wow, you have the opportunity to bring a lot to enrich the hours and the days and the days and the week by altering up regimented routines that might have become a little bit too tight. Okay, now over here on the airy side a reversal of the four of cups so it's going to be a busy time no doubt about it and there is going to be situations coming up where there's going you're going to have to face a situation where you have to talk about your feelings or about how you feel about a certain situation you may not want to do so because it's a situation like once your opinion is voiced people like uh they know that it's respected and that it's worthy so there's always like sort of the consequences of speaking your mind but 
I think that if you find in a subtle way to do it, if we can let go of a little bit of, uh, you know, whatever is egoically driven at this time and speak with purity, the authenticity in communication is coming up and having a mending, a healing, a forgiving effect for some of you at this time. But you need to be willing to engage in those conversations. You need to be willing to at least come to the table. Not that it has to be a negotiation, but you have to be able to more like a forum and people are waiting on your turn to speak they're waiting on your time to express how you feel about it okay now in the overall energy we have a six of wands reversed okay some of you are going to have to be very careful about um how quick you are to speak or how much uh you're willing to sort of divulge into something it's it's almost like on a service level if it's like if you vote yes or you vote no that should be good enough if you vote yes and then you proceed to tell somebody like, and these are the reasons why this, that, and the other thing, you may be coming off across as a little bit too strong, a little bit too narrow uh, at this time. And it's not, I'm not necessarily like accusing you of anything or calling, you know, saying that you're the causation of anything bad here. It's just what it's saying is, is that you have to be very mind, there's like mindfulness, almost like if meditation can take root, like on a small scale before you go into a meeting, go into a court case, go into any sort of discussion where it's like, uh, you know, your input, you're being evaluated and things like that. You need to make sure that all I's are dotted and all T's are crossed with any sort of legal contracts or anything or anything that has a risk to take away from you is carefully managed and mitigated at that time. And that's okay because on the airy side, you have that very good leadership managerial aspect to your person personality where it's like you don't tend to let things go for too long or you make sure that all the ducks are kind of in a row so that you are feel comfortable and satisfied at the end of the night that that's the way it should be if that's the way it goes right but the conflict the terror of being born in this cusp this Piscean side is like really trying to heal and really wants to probably act a little bit wild, act a little bit silly. And it's kind of like we need to be very careful of the company that we keep when we're acting silly and the company that we keep when we need to keep things level headed for other people. And it's that's a really tough one. I don't envy this situation. OK, now for some of you, this is a, around a situation with an estate with a home, with, um, you know, things to do with your savings, time that you spent building, maybe with a wife or a husband or a lover, uh, talking about which, where life has to go. Big fuzzy thumbs, just keep dropping the cards. Let's let uh, the Lenormand cards tell a little story here. So there isn't a message there. There was a message that was somebody was waiting for that maybe didn't come through here in this type of situation. And it could have led to like some suspicion or some finger pointing at some point in time and possibly even some gossip because there was something that was not revealed or somebody was not being fully um, truthful about how they were adjusting or feeling towards another or a situation. But it ended up being okay. There was a stroke of luck. There was somebody where it's like you were able to make up. You were able to maybe, uh, you know, put things off for another day, procrastinate on something on another day, and it ended up turning out or being okay. Because when the truth comes out, it was like luckily you may have been like on the wrong side of it. For some of you, this is all about you know having taken a side and then being either vindicated or you know forced into a situation where you have to apologize or justify yourself okay um now this card here says that uh without a sort of turn in direction without a return to um innocence uh, acceptance and even forgiveness there could be a situation where someone like would be unwilling or unwanting to forgive an egoic uh, response or egoic actions, right? It's almost like if you want to take this or look at this as biblical, right? Like when when they, they fell in the garden and the snake was there, it was like their response was like, you know what? We're, we're just going to say F it. We're not going to, you know, we're going to go against what we know better to do, right? And then it's that's kind of like when the poison, that's kind of like when old bad habits can like come in and, and affect you. And old ways of feeling can really like get you off track if you're not careful, okay? But so make some promises to self. Make some commitments to self. In the long run, they will serve you better. If this Pisces also has this um, 
the point this month of this October of painting their own future, of making sure they're doing the visualization and the dream work to, to paint a path for themselves. If you feel like there's nowhere to turn or the path is ended, Source is just saying you've got to You've got to pave the road for yourself. You've got to make your future, right? Uh, in order so that you can continue walking that way or walking down that road, all right? Now, for a lot of you, I feel this is relationship related, that there is somebody's feelings who you are. And at the same time, you're trying to balance your feelings with somebody else's. And like on the surface, things maybe seem very well, but the water's running very deep and sort of like, um, egoic presence always being something that needs to be either contained or well managed, you may find that you're struggling to make time for a partner, a partner is struggling to make time for you. And so when you do have time together, make sure you're addressing things uh, right off the hop. And then that way you can be in full enjoyment of each other's time and company. All right. And as well, if anything as well, if you're feeling down in the dumps, if you're feeling defeated, remember that it could all just be as simple as a disillusionment that exists within your own mind and a simple shift of thinking, a, a simple uh, way of perceiving or viewing things may be all that you need to pull yourself out of that funk, okay? That was a mouthful for clarity, but I hope that resonated with a lot of you, okay? Uh, not easy <laughs> this month to be pouring on this sign. There is a lot of healing. There is this mending that's going on. So so let's push our way through it. Let's get the dirty work done. And then let's actually go out and have some fun, you guys. All right. Love you all. And we'll see you next time.